Welcome back, guys, to our Pokemon Black playthrough. We are here in Black City, and there really doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on in here. It's a big old city that doesn't really have uh, much in the way of things happening. I gotta be real, though. I, I have never been in here before. Never played Pokemon Black this far to experience this, so I thought I would take the time to tour it, but there's not really anything here. Um, it's just the Pokemon Center. Let's go ahead and pop inside. I'm gonna read what Bulbapedia has to say about this. The southeast locale on Unova's main landmass differs between versions, either Black City or White Forest, depending on the version that you have, since we have Black City here. Um, well, Pokemon Black. Black City is a sprawling metropolis of perpetual development. The number of people living here and the progress of development depend on the number of the days it, take, it took you to get here after, after starting the game. wonder how that uh, works on an emulator. The number of buildings depends on the number of residents, which can be anywhere from 0 to 10. As the city develops, you can battle many different trainers. If you don't talk to the people here for too long, they will disappear. Once that happens, you'll need to use the entry link to visit another player's white forest to bring people over to replace the residents that left. You can't invite people if you already have 10 in the city or if there's another person here with the same name. Interesting. Okay. Many people come here from White Forest. If you enter White Forest and invite people, they might move here. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Useful. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on. There's not really much to do. What does it say of the sign, actually? Black City, prosperous and vibrant. I beg to defer. Hmm. Kind of want to see if I can set my clock, like, 100 years in the future and see if the game just, like, explodes with stuff going on. If you want to enjoy vibrant city life, visit Black City. Ah, uh, you say that. As the residents change, the city also changes. When I look at the changes for a while, the city looks like a gigantic creature. People who yearn for hustle and bustle often move into Black City. <laughs> Mix it up. Where are we? Okay, so we're on Route 15. So we're skipping directly to it then, I guess. Hmm. You know, one thing, actually, we'll look at Route 15 in a second. I want to do one more thing. It says... It says that the market is a large building west of the Pokemon Center. The building has five counters, but I'm looking and I'm not seeing anything. Was there a door here or a building that I missed? West of the Pokemon Center. I'm seeing nothing at all. These buildings don't have doors. There's supposed to be a market here. Has it not been built yet? If I'm stupid, let me know in the comments below. But if I also am missing this, let me know in the comments below. But whatever. It says that there's a market here with trainers in here. Two people inside are trainers and uh, challenge to rotation battles, but I don't see them. Okay, whatever. When you're done in the city, go west to Route 15. Okay, here we are. We'll take a look and see what's going on in this area. What do we got? A bridge with a trainer. We're going to go down, that's what she said. Okay, and I'm going to take a look and see what uh, Pokemon that we have available to fight. There's quite a few from here, actually, but I don't know. Yeah, so the mayor's house. Top of the mayor's house and show him Pokemon that he wants to see. Interesting. So there's White Forest. And then the mayor's house, which is in Pokemon White. So we're down to Route 15. Okay, so skipping all that. So available Pokemon. Fero, Marowak, Gligar, Throw, Sock, Kangaskhan, Pupitar. Wow, okay. Watchog, and then Rustling Grass. Once again, Audino, Emolga. Tyranitar in the frickin' Rustling Grass. Gliscor, Throw, Sock. Special Pokemon, Mankey, and... Rotom. Rotom comes from a ditto trade. Curious. Okay. Route 15 is a staircase, uh, stairways cut into the cliffside and bridges across the gaps. The top of the cliff is the Poke Transfer Lab, a facility where you can force Pokemon to migrate from other regions. One, two, three, four, five trainers here. Okay. We're going to do our own research on this, and I'm going to look around for a friggin' Tyranitar. Can you imagine? That'd be dope. I'm stoked on the idea of getting one of those. I feel bad because I feel like for the most part, I'm... Oh, we didn't heal up. Oops. We're going to go turn right around and go back to the uh, Pokemon Center. We didn't heal up. I don't know what I was thinking. And then we got into the battle. Son of a... I, I was going to say, I feel bad because um, I feel like in the past, I've been pretty decent about kind of giving advice and details uh, in a Pokemon game. But for this, I I don't know. I've never done the end game this in-depth with Black before. What's wrong, Pokemon trainer? Are you lost in your journey? No? In your life? At times like that, if you fight, you'll know. Like, I feel like I just can't really advise much to you. I mean, Bulbapedia is helping me out, and by extension, that lets me help you out. But, I don't know, I just... 
Man up. I just want to be able to give you all the answers, and I just don't have them, you know? I probably should have switched over to a Fire-type Pokemon, but it doesn't really matter that much. Oh boy. Okay, we can finish that with a cut. Eh. Depending on how much, uh... I gotta check to see how my other Pokemon are doing. The Paxorus is just sitting here. Oh no, we'll go. We're good. You have no doubts about your way of fighting. I don't know what, what that was, but... Such a strong trainer, please accept this. Life itself is a journey, and it's natural to get lost sometimes. Some truths you can find only when you get lost. I think that was sort of like a... A blob of various accents together. Which is fine, you know, it's Pokemon Regions fictional world. I can make up whatever accents I want. This place is so big, but there's not really anything here, and I don't know if I did something wrong to make it like that. I feel like there should have been more to show you, but there really isn't. Healed up and back on the road, Route 15. This whole video is going to be specifically dedicated to Black City, but nothing here. Literally nothing here. Really gunning for a Tarantar down here, though. That'd be freaking dope. Gotta look around for a rustling grass. I wonder if I use a Max Repel. I'm going to try this. I don't know if this works. Super strong Pokemon will appear in the grass anyway, but I want to see if maybe we can encounter rustling grass and run into uh, a Tyranitar that way. I will battle you, but you must relax your shoulders because you need to relax to show your ability. Battle girl Susie. Susie from New Jersey. It's so crazy that I keep running into these Pokemon that are so low level, you know? But they should have been evolved by now, I feel like. You are good. I don't know why I gave her such a masculine voice, but... Okay, let's see if we can keep walking around. We're gonna beat all these trainers real fast, and then in the meantime, we're gonna look around for rustling grass. Yoo-hoo, Pokemon! Yoo-hoo! Are you a trainer? <laughs> Some of these I am quite embarrassed to be doing, trust me.
tough terreno and a tough Pokemon. I lost. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just phoning it in now. I will give you this as a sign of my respect to your toughness. <laughs> Not even trying. I'm checking to see what Pokemon that came from regions by Pokemon Transfer of Escape. Okay, whatever. Not seeing any rustling grass. There's an item here. Oh, we can use strength. Let's go ahead and use that. Yeah, I will. I would actually uh, get rid of uh, Gigalith here for Tyranitar. There we go. There's a couple options like this. An upgrade. That's her Porygon. Very cool. up here. I'll lose an item as well. Venno Shock. I wonder if because... No, that can't be right. I've seen... Have we not seen Rustling Grass uh, when I was using a Max Repel? Am I wrong? Let me double check. I want to look at this again just to see. Tyranitar Rustling Grass. 5% chance. And Pupitar evolves at 55. And what level does he appear? Forty-eight to fifty, so it's not too far off. I have like what one or two rare candy or something like that. I'm seeing nothing of interest though. We're just gonna go up. Okay, if I go back down, let me see if the rustling grass if it changes. Let me go up and down, just for a minute. There we go. That changed it. Okay, let's see. Rustling grass has a small chance of appearing. Oh, it's Emolga. So rustling grass. Let me see. Got it. So, Adino, 75%, Chansey Mulga, 10. Tyranitar, Gliscor, Throw, and Socket, 5%. Okay. So, Max Repel does impact whether or not you see Rustling Grass. I didn't know that. We're going to keep doing this for a minute because I want to try my chances. I don't know what prompts the Rustling Grass. If I just stand here, does Rustling Grass show up? Do I have to move? I didn't see any with the Max Repel. And now we only saw just the one without it. Right after Max Repel ended. Let's do a battle real fast and then come back to this. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so Largo, it's a Spanish word. I don't... How do I do a Spanish accent? I probably shouldn't. Uh Se repenso e quante mantegne ho atraveso en lungo e le largo. Mi venti tante voga de untralata. Okay, that might be. I don't even know that Spanish. Largo me is big or large in Spanish, but I'm not sure if that was necessarily Spanish. Whatever. I just, you know what, don't take offense. I, it, there's no reason to take offense to how bad I, I do voices, okay? It's just me goofing around. Not meant to offend anyone, just because I'm really bad at it. And that might not even have been Spanish, that could have been like Italian, I have no idea. That just shows how little I know. Chance at a Tyranitar, though. I don't know. No idea. No idea. No idea. 
All right, let's full restore. I mean, Hex over here. Pop back down to the grass and see if we can see a Tyranitar, because I freaking want one, dude. I want one, I'm telling you. Tyranitar, probably top... I don't know if I'd say top 10, but definitely top 20, 15 Pokemon. This gives me a better view on any sort of, like, there it is. Rustling grass. If I walk through the grass and then get out, it looks like they appear. What do you know? For how few Pokemon I've caught, it's sort of annoying to me that Audino is one of them. <laughs> I just saw a Pokemon, captured it, named it after somebody, and then put it in the box. Now, the grass also appears not just moving, but it, like, stands up a little bit, so it's hard to miss. I missed going in the... There's a rustle. So it kind of looks like I have to walk through the grass to trigger the rustling. Ugh. Audino is the highest chance, 75%. Tyranitar and a bunch of the others are 5%, so this is going to be kind of a pain. God, could you imagine, though, walking around in the grass like this and a freaking Tyranitar pops out? Rustling grass. Is Tyranitar the, is the only appear in rustling grass? Looks like it. Rustling grass. So theoretically, well, Imolga's got a 10% chance, so I think we're doing pretty good as far as RNG is concerned. Let's see though. I feel like I've noticed the grass moving only when I move. I don't know. Am I just crazy? There we go. It, again. Is that anecdotal? I touched the grass and, grass and bam, something's there. Okay, that's got to be it. That's my uh, that's my test. That that confirms it for me. That's all I need to know. Touch the grass, back out of the grass. Rustling grass appears right after. There we go. Dang it. Burning my chances here. Marowak. I still think Cubone and Marowak, Marowak are like somehow related to Kangaskhan in some way. Is that chicken grass still there? Damn it. Lost it. But could you imagine just walking through this in a big towering freaking Tyranitar? just shows up here, I would probably poop my pants. Jupiter. Actually, I might as well just catch this thing. Far more likely to get this guy at level 55 uh, into Tyranitar. Let's go ahead and slap him down a little bit with false swipe and catch him, just in case. We're gonna hit him with two, three, possibly four false swipes to get him down. Oh, maybe three. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Nickelodeon. I still have that Master Ball too from earlier that I just didn't use. from that uh, Landorus debacle episode, if you recall. Should probably toss it. I don't think it's fair. Oh, no! He's gonna get confused and hurt himself because of it. Just be caught, dude. Because if you hurt yourself in the confusion, it's over. Yeah, he's gonna knock himself out. Never mind. Bonk! Oh, he's okay. All right. Up and B. 
stupid. He's gonna. Dang it. Oh, he snapped out of confusion. Okay. That was lucky. Oh, damn it. <laughs> they fell right back in it again. Due to fatigue. Come on, dude. Just get in the ball. There, thank you. Freaking pain. All right. Its body is hard as bedrock. By venting pressurized gas, it can launch itself like a rocket. That's gross. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and use a healing item. I really want to get that Tyranitar though. That's what I'm all about. I just don't want to do a grind to get him. Um, let's spend a, just a few more moments. I'm just curious. I just want to see what our chances are here. Come on, grass. Come on, grass. And then if I see wrestling grass, I'm going to pop a max repel and see if that makes that grass disappear. It could. Dang it. Ooh, a Kangaskhan. And I remember back in the day in Gen 1 how rare Kangaskhan was being in the Safari Zone. God, that was such a difficult Pokemon to catch. I remember we celebrated in grade school on our, our bus trips when we were able to catch it just because it would run away so much. Peg it with a rock, toss it some food, a little treat or whatever. It's ridiculous. Come on. Come on. I'm, I'm going to test this. I'm curious about this. We're going to go ahead and use this. And I'm gonna run around the grass and see if that makes a difference. Because remember that time we did... Oh. See? I called that. We ran into an Audino that was really high level. Ah, son of a... <laughs> Alright, well. Okay. I'm just gonna keep running through the grass then if Audino appears here. Then there's no way Tyranitar won't. You know what I mean? 5% chance, but also the rustling grass isn't appearing now. But it's not consistent. And it did it while I had the repel. Revive is just in this little alcove. Okay. How many? Let's see. I had some rare candies. How many were there? Just the two. Womp womp. We'll move on. I'll worry about that later. Oh, there's a trainer here. I will unveil my Pokemon to you. They are the best in the world. Everybody says that, and then I stomp them into the ground. Oh. Pokefan. Elliot. Best in the world. Level 62 Gulpin. My, my, my. Whatever shall I do? Stops, isn't he? Pokevan Elliot has the best Pokemon in the world. It must be very embarrassing to lose in front of your son. You were his hero. Now use a zero. 
I'm just kidding. Your Pokemon are also cute. My Pokemon are charming. And they're also dead. I killed them. So, keep that in mind. Hey, a strange truck in the wild. Let's go check it out. Oh, a lady's inside. That changes things. By any chance, have you caught a Pokemon called Ditto? I would be very happy if you would trade my Rotom for your Ditto. Well, if you don't want to, I understand. But if you ever change your mind, please trade Pokemon with me. Probably the only way to get Rotom. It's over here. I knight him. I just want to be thorough and look around and see if there's anything else we missed. I know there was the Poke Lab here. Hmm. I spent so much time looking around for a frickin' Tyranitar that I didn't come up with it. Missed this over here. Hmm. Hi, hello. You came here. That means you are a visitor? Huh? No? You came all the way here? Ah, you are a trainer. Are you in the middle of your journey? Ah, this is your trainer card. What? You have all the gym badges? Great! You may be able to, uh, Professor Bark! Quick, quick! Okay. Oh, there you are. Professor, do you have a minute? I think you do. Listen, this kid is a trainer who has all the gym badges. All of them! I'm sure this trainer can operate it. I have told you many times, this invention is great indeed, but without a professional trainer... What? You have all the gym badges? All of them?! Fantastic! Fantastico! Yahoo! I like his dance moves. What a great day! Great! Unbelievable! Hi, I am Professor Andrew Park. You, uh... Mark! Mark! Are you willing to participate in an ambitious experiment that will make history? This device is called Poke Transfer. It connects blah 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 blah, called DS system. Meanwhile, blah 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 of molecules, and then while evoking blah blah, ergo energy particles will blah blah, and if the frequency as you see with faraway Pokemon, the alpha waves blah blah, following which reach conversion blah blah, spectacular results. To put it more simply, if you use this device, you may be able to bring Pokemon here from other regions. But just for safety's sake, the Pokemon you're transferring shouldn't be holding anything, so make sure to take their items first. So, you. You are a fantastic Pokemon trainer. Will you participate in the great experiment of the century? You need two DS systems to use Poke Transfer. We will conduct the experiment with another DS. Is that okay? Nah. If you decide you want to play with Poke Transfer sometime, you're welcome to come back and ask me. All that for nothing. With this research of mine, I also want to have an impact on people in the future. People living 100 or 200 years from now. Here, we are monitoring Poke Transfer. We're keeping a careful eye to make sure all Pokemon have safe travels. Okay. Whatever. Alright, well, we didn't get our uh, Tyranitar. That's okay, though. We'll uh, have to worry about that another time. Thank you guys for watching this episode. We will continue on with our playthrough tomorrow, or next time, whenever that is for you, with new episodes that debut daily at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on the Mark 9 channel. As always, don't forget to hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. If you have any feedback for me, leave it in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, I expect to see you next time when we continue on with our playthrough of Pokemon Black. Later.